Welcome to the video on thedigitallife.com In this video we're going to have a look at the Netgear N750 wireless dual band gigabit router uh, I've reviewed, reviewed a couple of routers from Netgear recently and uh, I've seen a sort of performance increase uh, when using some of them so this one promises to be the high speed uh, and uh, uh, HD streaming and all that kind of stuff so I'm going to have a look at the box, have a look at the router then I'm going to plug it to my network and just do a sort of an experiment copying a couple of files and see if we can see the difference so uh, Let's have a look what's in the box. In the box we have network lead, power supply, um, a stand and the router itself. So there we've got the router, we've got um, well, indicator lights at the front. Uh, we've got gigabit ports on as well, which we look around here. We can see gigabit ports. We've got the connection for connecting the rest of your network, and we've got looks like a USB uh, host as well, so we can plug in um, a device and share it out using one of their sort of uh, share applications. There's an iPad up that goes with this as well, so I'm going to use that to to help set it up and, uh, and get it working. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to plug this into my existing network and then we're going to try some uh, copying. Right, I've logged into the... Uh, I've connected it up onto my network and I've connected it up through the iPad now. The um, You'll see when we come to do the testing, there's actually... Uh, you can see on there the net, the 97 and there's a 5G one as well, the one that works in the 5 gigahertz range. So we're going to try both of these and see which one works best. Uh, I've also installed the Netgear Genie app where it really gives you all the settings to the to the uh, to the router as well. So you could use a web interface but here you've got things like um, there's the key and the password. This is not my normal password, this is the default one. Um, so you can change those if you want to. Uh, so you can override all the settings which is probably what you want to do anyway. From here I can enable guest access, and parental controls, um, so it, can, it looks like it uses an open DNS account. The app, yeah it's okay for doing the setups and everything, let's actually see what makes a difference and we'll do that with the performance, uh, we'll do some performance testing. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go my surface and I'm going to copy a file over my old router, which is a G, uh, A211G uh, router. And then I'm going to copy, connect using this to the 2.4, copy the same file, and then the 5 and copy the same file as well. And we'll see the performance difference. Right, so I'm now going to copy this Power DVD uh, file, 23 meg. Just copy it to the desktop here on my Surface. This is using my 8211G network. So there you can see the copy speed, 1.3, about a meg, uh, megabit per second. So. Um, yeah, not bad. Not bad to copy speed. So, I remember that. So, we're, oh, we're going up a little bit there. So, it's levelling out just un under, just around the meg, meg and a bit. So, let's try now connecting to the uh, 2.4 gigahertz network and we'll see the performance then. Okay, so now I'm on the 2.4 uh, gigahertz network and I've connected up a PC onto the router downstairs directly via the Ethernet port so we can test the speed of copying on this. So now I'm going to copy this file over. Uh, 2.4 gigahertz. You see, we're getting, oh, we're going up to two, 2.6. Um, so around two and a half, 2.5, 2.6. So faster than the connection before uh, using my old G router. Um, so let's compare that now to the uh, five gigahertz frequency one. Okay, so connected to the 5 gigahertz, let's copy this file over and see if there's any difference. So yeah, you can see the difference there. Um, that's going up to 6, 7, um, averaging around 5, so almost double the speed of the uh, copying, file copying, so a much improved uh, network performance when we're using the 5 gigahertz range and I noticed that all my devices, my iPad, Surface, the Nexus 4 and the Nexus 7 all could see the uh, the G network, uh, the 5 gigahertz network as well so definitely worthwhile uh, using that. 
Finally, we got a quick look. We looked at the iPad config. This is the uh, through the web browser as well, so you can see your status of your network and your uh, device attached devices. The Ready Share. So this is where I can plug in a, um, a USB drive and then share that over the network. So one final thing I want to show you here. I switched on the meter before. So this metering then gives you some of the stats of usage and uh, you can set up uh, monthly limits. So if you've got caps on your network, uh, you can then enable those on uh, the router so you don't get charged or you don't go over your limits or whatever you want to do, to do with it as well. Okay, that's a quick look at the Netgear N750 uh, router. Uh, as you can see, when you're using the 5 gigahertz range, you get much improved uh, copying speed. So, uh, if, you, if local network copying is important to you, then it's definitely a good device to go for. Uh, price and other details in the show notes and the link uh, included with this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you another one. Bye.